Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the NECA Team Fortress 2 Series 2 set of figures. This includes the Heavy and the Soldier. I picked up this set recently off of the NECA eBay store. I paid 48 bucks plus shipping and handling. I think the shipping was about $10 or so. But uh, they ship really fast and package their figures really well. Um, so they arrived within, I think, about two days time, which was nice. So um, both of these figures come with several different accessories, including interchangeable hands and uh, alternate weapons. And then they come with their primary weapons, the soldier, uh, and the uh, Heavy both come with really well detailed weapons, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. And uh, these figures have a lot more articulation, or maybe just, uh, how do I phrase this? They have uh, way more variance in articulation than the first series did, which was one of my biggest gripes. Uh, they looked beautiful, but they really didn't have a whole lot of flexibility to them like I thought that they should have. So uh, they really took care of uh, that issue with the second series, and uh, yeah, enough rambling, let's see the figures. Alright, we'll start by taking a look at the soldier. He has articulation in his toes, the front of the toes there, on the ankles, upper uh, boot area, at the knees, flexibility there, and then uh, the upper hip, pivots at the waist, like that. Has articulation in the wrists, elbows, actually uh, flex up and down and then rotate. The upper arm, the shoulder, and then the head is on a ball joint. The weapons he comes with is, of course, his iconic rocket launcher. And then he comes with the, uh, I believe this was used for his melee attack in the game, but uh, his shovel. And then he comes with a couple interchangeable hands. There's one for the, uh, the shovel. Another one you could use for uh, his right hand, and then another, uh, so, oop, another fisted hand there. So overall, I like this figure a lot. Uh, the paint applications uh, pretty well done. Um, there are a couple weird things that I noticed about this figure. Um, one is it has a mid articulation point sculpted in. I can't move it at all. And it's not one of those things where if I heated it up with a blow dryer or something, it would actually loosen it, because I tried that. The thing is cemented in there, and it won't flex at all, so it's kind of aggravating. And on top of that, there are these ugly little um, notches that look like they pop out, probably for where they were supposed to put the, um, maybe like the joint or something for the, the torso. Um... But they just look really ugly, and this one isn't even uh, isn't even pushed in there all the way, and it's glued in place, so I can't really uh, level that out there. So it looks like he almost has like a headphone jack in the side of his uh, gut there. So it's a little odd. I'm not sure why they have that or what they hope to accomplish with that. But uh, yeah, it looks kind of I don't know. It's kind of distracting. But if you have his arm kind of over it, especially with the rocket launcher. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the head sculpt is really cool. I'm trying to see if we can actually get that in there with the helmet on. Looks very cool. Helmet does not come off. Um, overall, the paint job on this, it wasn't bad, though. It was very well done. Um, one of the better ones I've seen, anyways. Uh, I saw some of these in uh, Toys R Us recently, and they just were not that attractive. So, uh, luckily, I got a, uh, a good-looking set. But... Um, it also has the peg holes in the feet for a display stand. So if uh, you have a wobbly shelf or if he doesn't want to stand up for you, you can always put him on a little display base there. Um, as with the first series, uh, the figure does have some paint chipping to it. Um, you'll kind of see some of the paint flakes come off when you uh, move some of the joints for the first time. It doesn't um, rip off too much of the paint so that you're actually um, like having exposed uh, plastic areas or anything like that. But uh, just to keep aware of that, just it will kind of leave sort of a almost a red snowflakey mess underneath the figure. 
uh, the first couple days you have it. So, no biggie though. Overall, uh, decent figure. Really love the accessories that came with it. This one came with the most accessories out of the two figures. Um, but yeah, I was just really pleased with the, the soldier overall. Next up, we've got my personal favorite character from the Team Fortress 2 game, which is the Heavy. And he comes with uh, the minigun and uh, two additional hands. One which is fitted to hold his alternate weapon, which is a shotgun. Great sculpt on that as well. Great paint job too. And uh, I have him for the review on a small display stand. Unfortunately, with the minigun uh, attached to the figure, he tends to fall over or fall backwards, depending on how you have him positioned. So um, I know every time I do one of these reviews, somebody always tends to ask, hey, where did you get the stands from? Well, I have an entire review on display stands. So before you leave something in the comments saying, hey, where can I get these? Check out that review. It will answer all your questions. So that aside, um, I really, really dig this figure. It's got a really beautiful sculpt for the minigun. Let me actually get that out of his hand there. You kind of got to be careful positioning it. It is kind of fragile the way it's uh, sculpted. So you kind of got to maneuver it into his hands just so uh, it can get in there properly. Um, beautifully done. Beautifully done on the minigun. Love this. Um, a little paint smudge right there but nothing horrible if he's holding it to this side you can't really notice it um, like I said that this is incredibly f uh, incredibly fragile so you want to make sure that if your figure is wobbling on display that you have it on a display stand with this because uh, this whole uh, assembly here um, the handles uh, these little fragments in the back um, they will snap off quite easily so um, if you really want to protect your investment, I would really suggest a stand for this figure. So, um, I already showed you the shotgun. For the articulation on this figure, he's got it in the ankles, in the knees. They're actually kind of uh, double jointed on the knees. It takes a little getting uh, repositioned when you first get it because the, the, the ball joint portion, or excuse me, the uh, the portion that flexes uh, backwards and forwards, it actually rotates itself. And then you have the upper hip area uh, rotates at the waist. Um, sort of a ball joint in the middle there. Articulation in the wrists, in the elbows, in the upper shoulder, shoulder, and then the head is on a ball joint. Now, as I know you've seen in some of the closer shots of the heavy, this is how he came out of the box. He's got these uh, gray stripe paint uh, chips or something. I'm not sure what they are over there. And then uh, some on the back of his head on this side. So this isn't the best paint application on this figure. I'm sure there's better out there, but for this one, unfortunately, uh, you know, that's the luck of the draw for ordering online though. So. Um, but if you want to avoid that, I would definitely see if you can find these guys at maybe like FYE or Toys R Us. Uh, they're coming in stock in Toys R Us um, around this time. So he also has the peg holes, so you can put them on a display stand there. Or you can um, also use one of these. Um, it fits perfectly with these uh, smaller stands around the waist, and um, it, it hides very well on display, so you don't have to worry about it looking too ugly on the figure. Has this. Uh, ammo link around his shoulder. This is kind of glued on at the top there so it won't uh, rattle around or fall off at all. I love the articulation on this figure though and this is what they fixed with this series that I wish they could have done better with the first one which is um, for him to hold the minigun. Put that in there. He's got perfect articulation to, to hold this so um, like I said, it takes a little work to get it inside the uh, the hands to get the hands to grip it properly. But once you get it in there, it holds it very nicely. So, um, but with that, you can have them hold it higher, lower, forwards, backwards. You know, aim it up, down. 
there's a whole bunch of different ways you can position this figure because it has a wider range of articulation. Um, the real, the one figure that I really had a problem with that with was I think the Pyro uh, in the first series. I wanted him to be able to hold the flamethrower a bit um, to, to raise it up a little higher, but because it doesn't have a whole lot of flexibility in like its elbows and stuff, it had a bit of a, a hard time doing that. So. Uh, with this figure, though, they really solved that, and it's beautifully done. And like I said, the minigun just looks incredibly badass. So, fragile though it may be, this figure looks incredible on display. So, overall, really, really happy with this, uh, despite a couple uh, indiscrepancies with the paint. Overall, like I said, a couple paint issues aside, I'm really happy to finally have this series. Um, these two characters in particular were my favorite in the game. Um, they're just really, really funny and really fun to play. Um, so I was really happy that NECA did uh, the characters justice with uh, these figures that they released. And um, they're going to be releasing blue versions of these as well. Those are supposed to be coming within the next couple months, I believe. Um, at least before Christmas, um, from what I understand. Um, and each of these, uh, by themselves, run for around 25 to 30 bucks, depending on where you look. Um, I got a good deal by getting them through the NECA store on uh, eBay. I would definitely check them out there first because I know they have a large quantity available. Um, and they seem to keep uh, reposting um, new shipments of these, so um, they're at least going to be available for a while through their store. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really love this set. Uh, definitely check them out if you're a fan of the game. And uh, also, I have a review on the uh, Team Fortress Series 1 set of figures from NECA, um, from Team Fortress 2, excuse me. Um, but yeah, also a really great series, so definitely check that out. But uh, that's about it for this review. If you have any questions about either of the figures, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, check out some of my other reviews. As always, thanks for watching.